I was born and raised in uh, Cumberland, Maryland. My father, he worked for Hercules Aerospace. So in the 70s, he got transferred out to Salt Lake City. The four of us, um, three of us became engineers. All three of us graduated from the University of Utah. My brother, um, the oldest, uh, mechanical engineering. My sister, about a year and a half younger than him, chemical engineering. And then uh, myself, the youngest, uh, mechanical engineering. I met Gretchen in 1980. Four, I believe it was, and it was in our Strengths and Materials class with Dr. DeVries. When I did meet her, I recognized clearly that she was definitely going to help me to succeed in my goals and getting through the university. He's my partner, someone that uh, has pushed me, challenged me, probably been my biggest critic throughout my uh, career, but he's also been the person there to support me. So I graduated in 1984 um, and decided to move back east. She didn't want to be another walker at Hercules Aerospace. She wanted a career where she could make a name for herself. I went to work for a company called Grumman. Grumman was working as the program management for the space station program. And having been a young child and my father taking us to launches, um, I was, you know, had a dream that it would be great to work for NASA. They gave her the stage and she performed extremely well. To be able to take a very complex international program and figure out how you're going to build a spacecraft that has to stay sustainable each time the shuttle leaves it there, but yet be able to build on it and make something bigger was just an opportunity of a lifetime. We took a lot of uh, our friends and family down to the Cape uh, to see the uh, second component, uh, Zarya unit, get launched. And you could just tell the amount of engineering hours and the amount of work that went into it was phenomenal. I would always sit back and just think to myself, wow, my wife's running this program. I mean, this is phenomenal. When that thing took off, it just brought tears and elation to your eyes and your heart. And I just knew how much work she personally put in. I was just so proud of her. My vision was continue to stay, launch the International Space Station, and my husband, the push that he always has been, said, you know, this would be a great time, Gretchen, for you to think about, you know, going back into um, the private industry. I was looking for a chief engineer at Allied Signal Aerospace. Allied Signal built a lot of the components that actually went into the International Space Station. I saw maturity, I saw drive, I saw ambition. She was aggressively being pursued by industry. She had multiple offers and opportunities. So we knew we were in a competition and we pulled out all the guns and convinced her that Allied Signal and Phoenix were a better place for her than LA or Seattle. It allowed me to come in and run two other businesses. One was really around mechanical components, and then allowed me to move over later to the avionics side, so the smarts of an aircraft. Whomever I connected her to would always come back and say, where do you find these people? Uh, Gretchen went off to be in charge of a piece of ITT. While I liked at NASA that long-term vision, that opportunity to give back, I felt like moving in the water industry provided that opportunity for me. Then they decided to split the company up into three different businesses and they asked her to come over and take the helm of Xylem. And they asked me if I'd be the CEO. Uh, again, another dream come true and I got the opportunity to take the lead, the helm, be able to establish a brand new company called Xylem. As a CEO, you get all kinds of emotions. You get the excitement, the thrill, but you're also nervous. I can't count how many millions of miles she's flown around the Earth. I was around the world many, many times and just getting the opportunity to build a team and a culture that I'm extremely proud of today. My career is very diverse. I mean, it goes from government to ultimately private industry. It goes from defense programs to commercial aerospace to really industrial um, products. I can't keep up with her vapor trail. It's just too big and too fast. I've had an opportunity of a lifetime, and being a woman, um, you do have to have confidence. When she had something to say, she said it. They're going to remember me, someone with blonde hair, someone who's walked in and is going to, going to say something. Gretchen is an individual that it's not about her, it's about those that are around her. She is a global leader. We all have to work hard. I mean, that's what we're here for, to make the world a better place. I'd like to thank the University of Utah Alumni Association and Dean Brown for what a wonderful recognition and award. I'm both honored yet humbled. My accomplishments are a result of many great teams, and I've also had the support of a great family, a very competitive family, including my husband. 
But when you put that on top of a strong foundation of education from the University of Utah and many professors and teachers that I had that, that pushed math and science and the need to be able to think about solving problems, I can't thank you enough. It's been rewarding. It's been uh, a dream come true. Uh, again, I'd like to thank the Alumni Association um, for this award. And I'd also like to say congratulations to the other distinguished award winners here tonight. Thank you.